When I first reviewed the Jumper T16, one of the things I complained about was the lack of Hall Effect gimbals. Well, they fixed that. It has Hall Effect gimbals now. Amazing. Another thing I complained about was the lack of internal charging. And until recently, the fix for that was this third-party battery kit where you was this third-party battery kit which is charged via an external uh, plug. And that's kind of cool. I mean, the fact that this is a gigantic 21700 pack, this is 5,000 milliampers, that's amazing. But the fact that you have to use this special adapter to charge it is kind of annoying because if you lose this cable or if you lose the special adapter, then you can't charge your radio, and that's no good. Well, today, Jumper is on the ball because Jumper has released this USB-C and internal charging upgrade for the radio and we're going to go ahead and put that in today and I'm going to spoil the end of this video a little bit by telling you that if you have done this modification to your radio I checked with the guy who makes these battery packs and he confirms that it's fine to do this mod and to do the internal charging. So you can kind of have it both ways if you've already done this. If you haven't already done this, well, and you know, just follow along. So, like we have done so many times before, we're gonna open up the back of our radio. Screws are, screws are getting stripped out, unfortunately, because that is too bad. I'm also gonna remove my SD card here. The SD card can go flying. And that's not ideal. All right, the six screws are removed. I don't want to come out, but there we go. The six screws are removed, and we got to take these two on the top. Okay, and then this should just lift right off. Oh, why do I always forget to take the side ones off? I don't know why I always, I always forget to take those off every time. Oh well. Okay, that's come off, and then. Now here's the board we're going to be removing older board with the uh, regular USB. So with a flathead screwdriver, it looks like this is the kind that pushes, is it the kind that flips up or the kind that pulls out? It's the flip up kind. Okay, so we're going to flip that up. The ribbon will pop out. Going to insert the new ribbon, kind of just apply some pressure to stick it in there, and then lower this and clasp it. It shouldn't take very much force at all. That seems good. Right, so there is your USB-C, that's nice and all, but the internal charging, that's the thing that we really want. Here's how to do that. And to do that, we're gonna wanna get at this board. This is the board with the SD card slot on it, and I think the easiest thing to do is just gonna be to remove the ribbon cable and pull it out. Yeah. And we can actually just unplug from here while we're at it and get the whole board. I'm gonna get some of this. This is stuff is called um, blue tack, or uh, I think that might also be called art gum, but uh, it's really nice for holding this stuff down while you work. I've got some flux here. This is a flux pen. I'm just gonna add a little flux to help this do better. The soldering iron is at 650. This is not a very this is a big joint. We don't need a lot of heat. And. I'm going to tin these pads here, just get a little extra fresh solder on there. The factory solder is often lead-free and crappy, so nice shiny silver solder. 
with some uh, flux. And then, what I'm going to do, let's go from right to left. I'm going to take the black wire. yellow wire to the middle, black wire to the negative, the yellow wire to the middle, perfect, and the red wire to the plus, perfect. Let's see, this is going to go in like this. And that goes like that. Okay. Okay, good. Uh -huh. And then we're going to want to route this some way that it doesn't like get in the way of the gimbal or anything. I think if I route it like this. That'll be pretty good. Okay. Maybe even like a little hot glue or tape to hold that down would be nice. Let's get some cap on tape here. Now in just a second we'll test that that's working, but I want to address this other piece that they're sending out to everybody, which is this foldable carry handle. And that's cool, I guess. It is, seems like it's reasonably strong, and it's nice that it's foldable, but I gotta tell you, I really prefer the metal one that came with it, but I have addressed the same problem that they're trying to address a different way. And the problem is that the carry handle, um, as it comes, it takes up a lot of space and it makes it kind of sticks out a lot on the back. So what I've done is I have flipped the carry handle around. I did not come up with this idea. I can't remember the name of the person who told me this to credit them, but they're out there and credit to them. Uh, you just flip it around. And what you do is you use a 2.5 millimeter driver to remove this screw and this screw, and then just uh, flip it over. Uh, if you want to, you can also remove this guy here. Uh, that will let you install a stand, if you so prefer. And that's something you can't do with the foldable handle. So I'm fine with this, and I'm just going to leave this this way. I'm not going to install the foldable handle. Okay, great. Nothing is lit on fire yet. And then we'll plug in USB-C, and we should see that it's charging. And, oh, well, I don't love that sound. I mean, we do have a charging light, but yikes, I don't love the sound. Okay, well, so it's not a really inspiring confidence. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's an inductor whining or something. Oh, I, uh, maybe it's, oh, oh no, okay, okay, it's this thing. Woo, that's good news. It's this, it's this thing. It's not the jumper. Okay, wonderful. Well, it still doesn't inspire confidence, but at least jumper's off the hook. Well, the only thing left to do then is to put it back the way it was. Just put it back together in the opposite order that it came apart. I, I'm super psyched to be able to use this awesome, this is a legit 5,000 milliamp hour, 21700, not 18650. They're larger cells. And this thing has got me back in the realm of I don't ever think about charging it for weeks at a time. It's pretty amazing. Um, I, If I had it all to do over again, I probably would not do this mod now that I have the option to do USB charging. But it doesn't mean that this mod is completely useless because you can actually charge the battery at up to five amps. If you have an XT60 to barrel adapter and the, the same guy that makes these packs 
uh, will sell you that too. I'll link the video description to my video about installing this and where you can get this. You can charge this guy at up to five amps, which means that if you just for some reason didn't have time to let it charge all freaking night with the USB, then you would have uh, some flexibility. Um, but all in all, I would probably just stick with USB and not drill and mod and have to carry a separate charger and all that nonsense. I'd probably just use USB-C going forward. Anyway, there you go. That's how to do it. Thank you so much for watching. Links in the video description. Yada, yada, yada. I'm sick. I don't care. I'm done for the day. I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> Happy flying.